ETL developers. Now the ETL developers we are in charge of the overall program where the extraction of the data from the multiple OLTP applications and cleansing it, scrubbing it or validating it, analyzing the quality of it and putting it into or populating the data into the data warehouse is their responsibility, right? The ETL developer should be familiar with the ETL tool which is being used, which in our case is Informatica or any other ETL tool or the programming language used to perform the ETL jobs. Now, what is a programming language? Well, in some cases, you can consider that as PLSQL, but in other tools, for example, uh, SSIS and OW, OWB or ODI, there are situations where you might have to put in a code, which is nothing but procedures to do the ETL jobs. Unlike Informatica, where you have a GUI based setup, you can also do the code. Right, the ETL developer is also from the vendor company. If IBM is a vendor, it will be obviously from the vendor company, right? Now, the core responsibilities involve understanding the business requirements, design and develop the overall ETL setup from the start of the record, which is the inception of the record till the data warehouse record, design and deliver it in the best performance methods possible, perform the unit testing once the core development is done and once the deployments are completed he'll be the one who will support business for any of the data issues which they raise and any enhancements in the future right that's the overall tasks of the ETL developer which can be break down into multiple other roles and responsibilities which we will see separately BI and OLAP developers now it is nothing but a reporting reporting tool Right, like business objects, Cognos, Tableau, uh, ClickView, any of the famous ones which are in the market, and whatever the uh, tech team or the architect have decided to use or the project sponsor have decided to use. Now, tool selection is a whole different story. We'll not talk about that here. We can take that as a separate session if required. But let's focus on only on the OLAP developers. Now, once the data is available in the data warehouse, the OLAP developers who are nothing but our reporting guys will uh, analyze the data in the data warehouse. If required, collect all the data, create a separate cube or separate schema which the business would require for doing their reporting. Right now, based on the tool and based on the possibilities within the tool, you decide on having a separate cube, uh, 3D cube, I mean the relational OLAP or multidimensional OLAP or a hybrid OLAP and give that option to business to generate the reports in an ad hoc manner or create the canned reports which are nothing but a pre-built reports and they will execute it on a daily basis and there is also an option to schedule them, right? Now ETL testers and QA team, obviously this is one of the important roles like any other role in the whole list which we see here. Now as a developer, whatever I do, I feel it is right. Obviously it will be right, but as we are all humans, there are bound to be mistakes and there is also bound to be leakage of knowledge or information in the overall process because it's a people project, right? You have so many people who are working on different tasks, so there could be definitely a leakage of information how much ever you try to document it or record the calls or have regular meetings etl testers or the qa team would be the gatekeepers for that leakage not to happen before it goes into uat or production environment right now the role of etl tester is again pretty simple and straightforward it should match the requirement it should exactly deliver the code which is developed by ETL developers and the BI developers or the reporting team should exactly be the same as the SME of the project is expecting it to be. Any deviations on it, it will be a bug or an observation which SME will have to review and they will decide if it can be overridden or it can be taken into a next release or it is not acceptable and they want that feature right away right 
So ETL testers role here would be more complex because they have to understand each and every phase and they also have to know how to execute a particular process within the ETL or execute a particular report. Also test how the scheduling is working, how the dependencies between the jobs work and all that. Right, so it's equally important as an ETL developer or a BI developer. Last but not the least, it's the DB, Unix or the network admin. Now, end of the day, whatever tool, whatever technology you use, if there is no administrator who's trying to manage the servers of your database, ETL or your network connection, everybody will sit idle, right? Now, in some companies, it will be a standard shared platform where there will be a standard DB. Everybody would get a schema. When I say everybody, every team or every application would get a schema. And that shared services team will monitor that particular database at all times to make sure it is up and running. Similarly, a Unix team or a team of experts on Unix will be deployed to verify the whole uh, platform on which multiple applications would be leveraging the resources. Same goes with the network. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, these are not limited or these are not mandate. Meaning, it is not a mandate that all of these roles should be available in a typical data warehouse project, but it is based on what is the output expected. And it is also not limited only to this number of roles. Assuming if it is a bigger application and more critical application, you would need more roles. Like you can add a PMO who will take care of all of your onboardings, accesses, billings, invoices, absences, etc., which is not mentioned here. Right now. You can also have somebody who is reviewing the requirements or some third party which is which is part of your technology team who is coming in asking questions on where is your architectural document why is the in scope and out of scope not defined so multiple things like this so based on the policies and procedures of how a project should be handled the roles would either increase or it would reduce the moment it i say it is reduced the tasks will still be there but those will be given to the existing members who's handling a particular role for example uh, the pmo activities can be done by project manager right the architectural review thing can be done by the dw architect or the data modeler things like that right so depending on the function which is retail domain retail banking insurance ime and depending on the technology depending on the complexity and obviously depending on the amount which is sponsored to this particular project the roles would differ okay hope you've got a good idea about uh, different roles which are possible within a data warehouse or a business intelligence implementation any questions please let me know thank you